Grand Prize winner is... Ayim Poka, Sara de Antonio Feu from Spain. Es para mí lo, el, el gran logro que he conseguido durante estos años eh, dedicándome a tipo parcial en la fotografía. Pues la historia de esta fotografía eh, es sobre la vida de Ayim Poca. Ayim Poca es una niña albina de seis años de edad que vive en una región del norte de Ghana. Son dos hermanas que en diferentes circunstancias podrían ser discriminadas por su color de piel y, y las dos se compenetran con mucho amor, es como que se abrazan. Con esta fotografía pues, quería hacer pensar a la gente sobre, sobre la discriminación que, sufre, que sufren los, los albinos y que han sufrido durante muchos años. Que han, eh, entonces, es una especie de forma de, de, de denuncia, de, de hacer pensar eh, que todavía nos quedan muchas cosas por... Por, por conseguir. Pues siento una enorme alegría de haber recibido este premio. Pues mi objetivo en el futuro es seguir formándome como fotógrafa por mi cuenta, que es un poco como he hecho siempre por, por temas laborales. Y, y bueno, me gustaría poder seguir contando historias que, que lleguen a la gente. Sometimes the images have a strong uh, narrative or a point of view or a story in them, and sometimes the images have a strong kind of visual. Uh, aesthetic to it and you know our idea and, and the balance is to kind of get a kind of a mix of both and I, I guess the viewer should really kind of look into these stories. The purpose here I hope of this contest and, and I'm sure this is why Nikon have it is, is to promote photography that there is an elevated art form. It is not disposable, it is a, it's an artwork, it's a way of expressing ourselves. Um, so I'm hoping that people look at this picture and go, yeah, it's not a simple picture. It's a great honour. I, I didn't expect to win. So the picture is of my grandparents um, nearly 10 years ago. Um, they got married in the 1940s and after a brief period of being married for maybe six months to a year, my grandfather went off to war. Um, he was away for three years and uh, when he came back, he was changed from the sort of funny, smart, kind man he was. We didn't realize that until sort of quite late on in his life, but um, that meant that they had a very turbulent, quite violent 60-year marriage. Um, so when he developed Alzheimer's in the last few years of his life, um, it kind of rendered him placid back to the man he used to be, uh, where my nan could kind of take charge a little bit more and felt more comfortable in her own home. I think photography plays so many different roles for so many different people. Um, it can be a record of history, it can be a mirror of society, it can be a way of self-expression, it can be a voice, it can be a protest. Photography is everything and I think that's the beauty of it. So I'm a full-time photographer and I run uh, photography workshops and tours in the UK and abroad teaching photography to do more of the same, yeah, to teach more people. I'm a qualified teacher as well as being um, qualified in photography. So uh, yeah, I, I teach people how to take pictures and how to see the world. I want them to appreciate the imagery that, that we selected. You know, obviously I want them to look at that and just appreciate the, the time it went, uh, it, it went into, that went into creating the work for the winners. I want them to feel like kind of a, a sense of congratulatory appreciation towards the winners as well. Para saya saya mungkin apa? Awal-awalnya saya merasa mungkin agak-agak sedih ya karena melihat banyaknya orang yang tidak mampu mendapatkan pelayanan gratis dari apa? Eh, kegiatan amal. Tetapi akhirnya saya senang karena objek yang menjadi apa? subjek yang menjadi foto saya Ya, saya senang karena dia akhirnya bisa ketawa, bisa senang, karena bisa melihat lagi. It was a pleasure and an honor to judge 
this work and um, I wish you the best and I think we're all evolving and learning continuously so I've learned a lot myself just from viewing the work and um, I hope we all continue to help each other in this uh, most vital endeavor, photography. Karena bisa menang di Nikon Photo Contest yang saya rasa sangat susah ya dan menang di Nikon Photo Contest ini merupakan salah satu uh, prestasi terbesar saya untuk saat ini. Untuk fotografi saya akan tetap terus belajar karena saya tahu fotografi selalu berkembang dan mungkin untuk zaman modern sekarang ya karena banyaknya fotografer jadi saya kira untuk menjadi fotografer yang bisa eksis di kancah internasional saya kira kita membutuhkan sesuatu yang wah juga. Nih 你们的片子得奖是因为你们找到了一个独特的视角去看一样东西会把最自然的一面展现给我像拍摄这些人的过程中我自己也是体现了我的喜怒爱乐的照片中其中的每一个人或物都见证了包括我自己在内的意义生活的清楚 I think photography is also a hobby It's also you can enjoy At the same time you can express Like what you see the society Especially um, in the world, like different country, you can find your your own language by using your camera. So I think just express. 我很感谢就是尼康以及各位评委能够给我这样一个机会，让我把来自我这个年纪特有的影像展示给这么多人看。我不断的拍摄下去，一直保持以一个学生的态度。不断地向别人学习，自己不断地进步，一直在摄影的道路上做一个学生。嗯，我会一直拍摄下去，也不会放下摄影。And I, what I'm hoping is that the winners from this competition is that they will bring that extra edge to the art of photography and remind us that it's not enough just to snap a photo. And and again, you are taking a a, a photograph. To share, obviously, but but hopefully you're sharing that story. Um, when creating this film, um, I wanted to make something that was relatable, um, but completely up to your own emotional interpretation. Um, dealing with anxiety, fear, trauma, all of those things. I wanted to make this piece to show people that they are not alone in that realm. It was clear that you were shooting subject matter that you really enjoyed and that you were passionate about, which is really the core of, of creating good images. And I hope that this is just the beginning stages and that you can continue on to continue to do great work. It's unbelievable. Um, I didn't even think something like that was possible. It's really, um, I'm very honored and just in a dream almost right now. Future goals include um, just continuing to make more work creatively and help other people on their personal projects. This is opening so many doors and I'm very excited to see what happens next. I was a winner of a bronze medal uh, in 1993 or no 1983 because I'm very old uh, or 1984 um, and I have to say that I was thrilled so um, I hope that you if you're a winner are thrilled I hope you'll be really thrilled uh, to understand that there are, there were 12, at least 12 people who were looking hard and admiring your work and that it did brilliantly to have got this far. The judges were very happy to present their point of view all the time. So there wasn't a quiet agreement on anything. There was a lot of very active discussion a lot of active um, debate which went on in the evening 
And in the end, this passionate process, I think, has created a very passionate set of awards. We did this time as we brought a lot more conversation and discussion into the process. So I think it feels that way. It feels like still it's a, it's a living process. And the living process will continue now as the work is published and the audience and the world gets to see them.